I'm Mark Fletcher, ENP, and this is the Avaya Safe School Solution Overview. The Avaya Safe School Solution that we'll be covering today has three primary areas of focus. In the first section, we'll cover the requirements needed for a safe school. Managing the safety of various K-12 schools is not a difficult process. Specific safety risks need to be identified that are appropriate to that particular institution, and a mitigation and prevention plan needs to be established. Understanding the requirements of that plan and the level of preparedness that's required will dictate the specific training for staff and students, as well as the frequency and level of detail. While monthly training drills are common, some institutions may also implement an annual full-scale mock disaster that allows them to test and assess the operational characteristics behind what they've decided to deploy. These monthly and annual full-scale drills test not only the response plan, but how that plan is understood by those who need to execute it. In a real-life environment, they define things like assembly points and specific procedures under simulated conditions. Recovery after the emergent event also needs to be taken into consideration in the overall big picture. While getting 600 people out of the building may be relatively simple, facilitating the re-entry of 600 people simultaneously especially after an emergent event is over, may pose its own set of challenges. Therefore, it's only by practice and reassessment of both real and simulated emergencies that plans can be developed, evaluated, and put into place if they work. Various resources are available from the United States Homeland Security Department and cover specific functionalities that should be included or considered in a plan. These include emergency call buttons, the limitation of entry and egress doors, building-wide public address functionality, emergency plans and procedures, as well as emergency equipment at all locations. This is important as sometimes specialized equipment may not be staged at every location. The National Electrical Manufacturers Association, or NEMA, has a document that specifically covers communications for life safety in schools. The document makes key recommendations that affect the deployment of communication systems and provides some key recommendations, including direct 911 dialing from all school phones, as recently supported by Kerry's Law. The volume and, more importantly, the intelligibility of announcements, emergency communications preemptions, visual indications for persons who are deaf, tamper-proof devices where needed, along with normal devices providing a balance of emergency broadcast capabilities located throughout the entire school. Another important function is the ability to monitor, silently, ambient audio from locations in the school. This should not be confused with the audio on a 911 call itself, where no additional parties should be bridged. This prevents any transient audio from the monitoring position to leak into the call path, which could confuse the call taker or emergency responder. Specific situations require specific emergency response procedures. By far the most common is the lockdown. Lockdowns are for imminent threats that are within the school, such as an intruder, and students and staff quickly need to lock themselves in their current room, out of sight and out of harm's way of the intruder. Next is the lockout. The primary difference with the lockout is that while students and staff are locked inside the school, typically normal school operations continue throughout the event. This commonly occurs where an incident is occurring in close proximity, and for safety reasons, access to the school by others is restricted to maintain the level of safety. Evacuation. Should a building become unsafe, for example during a fire or a gas leak, students and teachers may initiate an evacuation where they exit the building and move away to a common assembly point. Finally, we have a reverse evacuation. This occurs when students and staff have moved outside but are then threatened by additional life safety issues and need to re-enter the building in a secure manner. Emergency communications in any environment is critical. Certain steps must be taken to define what is needed in each individual environment. Important questions need to be asked, such as if school-wide or zone-based communications are needed. Should public or hidden emergency buttons be deployed, or both? If there are pre-recorded emergency instructions, do they need to be in more than one language? Now, while in the past, the choices for intelligent emergency communications were limited, new devices, new technology, and new networks allow vast amounts of explicit data to be integrated from other systems and then rebroadcast to emergency responders using smartphone technology they are already carrying. The Solution Overview Breaking down the Safe School solution into its primary components allows us to focus in on the specific problems each segment offers. 
Today, users are looking at and expect enhanced collaborative environments. It's how they talk to their friends, their family, and virtually everyone else on the planet. As members of a public collaborative environment, they are often carrying multiple devices for similar functions. So when a modern user reaches out for an emergency, they're going to do so with the device that is most familiar to them, including the modality. Providing coverage for these emergent events is going to require enhanced communications that not only includes the protocols and capabilities these originating points offer, but also includes other big data available from the network. This makes access control, priority communication, and emergency management all critical pieces to the overall puzzle. Additionally, many of the new devices will require power over Ethernet in order to be fully interactive with their environment. And obviously, substantial cost savings can be achieved by deploying a uniform solution across multiple segments of the network, which may or may not be in sync. Because of this, solutions must remain flexible and scalable in their feature set as well as their deployment sizes. This is where Avaya's IP office provides a simple, powerful, collaborative solution that can be virtualized, dedicated on a server, or an appliance while supporting a broad range of endpoints using various technologies and modalities to connect users with the network as well as with their peers. The Avaya Safe School solution will allow you to position and allow you to sell the entire Avaya stack. For small deployments such as remote branch offices or small to medium enterprise, the ERS 3500 is a great fit that's available in 10, 24, or 48 port giggy solutions. There are even some models that operate in a fanless environment, minimizing any environmental concerns in the closet. An important part of the Avaya Safe School solution are the SIP enabled endpoints provided by Algo Communication Solutions. Algo is an Avaya DevConnect partner with 40 years experience as a leading supplier of quality telecom solutions for audible and visual alerting. They provide solutions for office and warehouse paging, visitor assistance, and door intercom security. Research and development is in lockstep with Avaya and they specialize in SIP and IP based communications endpoints. Through the Avaya Safe School solution, We've integrated these devices into a comprehensive, cost-effective, and validated solution, specifically customized for safe school deployments. Avaya's Safe School solution is adaptable to schools of any size and configuration. Typical deployments include a variety of door access control devices that allow school officials to use both voice and video calling to remotely monitor and control access at the school entrances. Both one-way and two-way paging devices work across a broad range of modern SIP-based endpoints. These also support interfacing and interworking with legacy paging systems, allowing schools to achieve the benefits of the Safe School solution without requiring school rewiring. Simple and secure procedures for school officials to activate pre-recorded emergency alarms and announcements ensure the rapid response in the event of an emergency. The ability to schedule and play tones and alarms, including bells between classes and playing music files. All of these components are brought together into a full stack solution. With Avaya's networking and IP office products, Avaya Ethernet PoE switches deliver the power to all the safe school devices and provide the connectivity and reliability to guarantee delivery of all alarms, announcements, and video streams during an emergency. Avaya's wireless LAN and BYOD solutions provide the security and application control required to manage the ever-increasing number of smartphones, laptops, and tablets being used in schools. IP Office integrates all of the products together using its flexible and open SIP-based architecture. This allows full interworking between telephones and school paging and security devices. Schools can now replace multiple solutions with a single, reliable, flexible, and cost-effective IP-based solution. Together, these components provide a comprehensive and highly scalable safe school solution. The Avaya Safe School Solution Components and Use Cases here are a few examples of SIP paging units to address a variety of requirements within the school environment. All devices are manufactured with high-quality audio in tamper-resistant enclosures. 
At the heart of a school security solution is the ability to reliably communicate throughout the school during an emergency situation. The solution supports paging and talkback access across a variety of different endpoints, including telephones, ceiling and wall-mounted SIP pagers, and loudspeakers for outdoor and noisy environments. Phones and paging units can be called individually to initiate two-way, hands-free conversations, or they can be paged in unison for making announcements to specific zones or to the entire school. With the paging system being based on IP Office SIP capabilities, all paging operations can be initiated using standard telephones within the school. Also, unlike legacy paging systems, dedicated and expensive paging devices are no longer required. In order to deploy the Safe School solution in an existing school, it is important to adapt the solution to existing school infrastructure and procedures. The solutions include a general purpose 8300 computing module with different variants supporting different applications as well as inner working capabilities. These include bell scheduling applications, allowing schools to define tones and automate the times when they play, the ability to stream media files such as the national anthem, and to stream audio from devices such as MP3 players, and integration with legacy paging systems, including both 8 ohm and 70 volt speakers, different paging zones, and amplifiers. In this example, the 8301 module is used to interface between the Safe School solution and an old 8 ohm speaker, which already existed in a school. The 8301 is a SIP endpoint and registers like any other extension with the IP office. It also provides the analog interface to the speaker where it converts the SIP-based paging conversation to the analog legacy output. In addition to converting and playing messages, it's also able to transform the legacy speaker into a microphone, allowing the implementation of half-duplex voice conversations. This simple repurposing can be a significant improvement over the one-way paging supported on most legacy paging systems. Due to the lack of integration between traditional paging, notification, and phone systems within schools, there's been some considerable confusion around requirements for communications between systems in the same school, much less at a board level. As previously noted, this problem is exacerbated by a lack of flexibility for both preemption and scaling. An important aspect of the Avaya Safe School solution is the flexibility, efficiency, and simplicity that can be derived from the use of Avaya Networking's industry lead multicast capability in concert with Avaya endpoints. By leveraging multicast devices that can be members of multicast domains, one signal to a multicast master is able to address the master as well as all slaves in that zone. Layering zones makes it possible to address a complex set of situations simply and concisely. In the example shown, a scheduled announcement to the entire school, such as the national anthem, can preempt an ad hoc announcement. And in turn, the anthem can also be preempted by an emergency announcement with more priority. This is because each announcement has the flexibility to address required zones per building that can include the floor, the school, or the entire school board. Many schools still have legacy systems. The ability to integrate or repurpose existing wiring and infrastructure, such as speakers, provides value to any customer. This is especially true in cases where retrofits are prohibitively expensive due to factors such as the existence of asbestos. Additionally, given the very high ratio of students to teachers and school staff, the number and varying types of communications which occur in the school environment every day mandate a high degree of flexibility. So the ability to convert analog speakers for two-way communication and the ability to transition public pages to private conversations and back to public, while including a mix of both legacy and new endpoints, addresses that requirement. Office staff can now page a classroom using their phone or a via One X mobile client. The class first receives an alert before entering a hands-free two-way conversation. If part of that conversation needs to be private, a teacher can switch the conversation from their classroom speaker to their phone and then back to the room speaker when they're done. One might be surprised to realize that the management of scheduled events and the flexibility to address new media content in those schedules is a point of contention for many schools. Many legacy systems require that a technician actually visits the site to reprogram the system for even the most simplest of modifications. The ability for staff to address this requirement simply and on demand has proven to be a very desirable aspect of the Avaya Safe School solution. 
office staff can schedule a variety of bells and alerts to automatically play at different times of the day. They can broadcast public announcements throughout the entire school or to specific zones, such as classrooms or hallways. They can even stream audio and other media files, such as the national anthem or pre-recorded announcements. Additionally, the system can be controlled in a number of ways, including event scripting, a full web interface that will be GA in December of 2014, as well as from many modalities. Media can also be easily added or removed from the system using standard MP3 content. Lastly, the 8300 systems provide a consolidation point for endpoint inventory and environmental status. The Avaya Safe School solution provides another critical benefit to schools in addition to the integration of telephony, paging, notification, and intercom systems. Above and beyond supporting normal day-to-day -day communications, the Safe School solution also provides a comprehensive suite of security capabilities. Monitoring and controlling access to school entrances is essential to providing a secure learning environment. Schools can choose from a variety of weather-resistant, audio and video door access devices, and these devices simply connect to the IP office system as extensions. In addition to being hardened for use in school environments, where both students and harsh climactic conditions, such as Canadian winters, can impact other devices designed to less stringent environmental realities, the devices come in a number of form factors and capabilities. These include a wall-mountable audio push-to-call, a wall-mounted programmable multimedia touchscreen that supports one-way or two-way video, a slimline video door controller specifically designed for glass door installation where limited metal supports are available. As all of the devices register as IP Office SIP extensions, they're all able to integrate with a wide variety on desk phones, mobile One X, and soft phones such as Flare for video. Here's an example of the solution integration which enhances the security posture of an institution while simplifying operations. Visitors to the school can request access by pushing a button. The door unit then calls the hunt group assigned in the IP Office. IP Office in turn connects them to voice and or video to an appropriate office staff member on their phone, PC, or mobile device. The staff member can then verify the visitor and choose whether to remotely open the door and grant access to the building. Staff members do not need to contact the office, instead opening the door themselves by entering a keypad security code. In many cases, audible notification may be insufficient or ineffective. As an example, a speaker, even with auto leveling to address local background noise, may not be noticed in an environment such as a school shop class or gymnasium. By leveraging a visual indicator in these environments, we can draw attention to the situation. In the shop example, the strobe lights are used to trigger the class to stop the machines that they're working on, so that they can then hear the more detailed audible information. Visual indicators can also be used to indicate the location of specific events for responders. Both color and flash patterns can be used to address multiple situations through the use of a single device. With the devices being multicast, they're able to participate in multiple roles, both individually and with other devices. This can be within a zone or twinned to another IP office extension. Visual indicators can also be used to provide visual indications of the access state of an entryway when they're twinned with a door controller or the the current state of an emergent event can be communicated to first responders, such as a lockdown procedure in process, without the need for an audible signal that may alert undesirable persons. Finally, if installed outside the classroom door, the visual indicators can be utilized to silently provide a path reference to responders. Fire alarm zones are nothing new to public safety. In fact, most of us remember fire drills from our days in school. The structure of alarm zones provide a benefit to both those reporting a potential incident as well as those responding to it. SIP-enabled emergency buttons provide this zone-based activation capability in addition to including broader uses. When coupled with SIP strobe light indicators, SIP audible endpoints such as speakers and intercoms for two-way audio communication, video feeds, or any combination of the above, local first responders have the ability to make decisions based on real-time situational awareness and coordinate no matter what the incident is. Time is always of the essence and it's imperative that the most important information is provided to responders with the context they require. This all stems from the ability 
ability to trigger a notification and initiate an emergency response to an event in a simple, straightforward way. The emergency button. The requirement for simplified notification is not new to Avaya. Buttons can be implemented in many forms and their use can be dynamically customized based on the specific scenario. For example, if an emergency develops in a classroom, lab, or other area in the school, students or staff can immediately report the incident by pushing a highly visible emergency button. Emergency buttons may also be installed in hidden locations that allows a teacher to discreetly report an emergency or in the time of an active emergency, acknowledge their state of safety when the need arises. While there can be many nuances to use cases, depending on local best practices and supporting legislation, a straightforward, commonly applicable use case where intervention by on-site resources is key in effective responses as follows. A student within a washroom encounters a difficulty and presses a conveniently placed, highly visible emergency button. A strobe light outside the washroom is immediately activated. An emergency tone and announcement are played on the office or on designated devices. Emergency in West Building, second floor north washroom, room 218W. Office staff can then page the washroom via the intercom installed near the washroom safety button, and an assessment of the situation in real time can now be made without the need to send resources. If resources are sent, information about the event is now known so that responders arrive with the right information and equipment to address the situation. While there's a core requirement for physical infrastructure notification points such as intercoms and safety buttons, there are many other instances such as outside of a school building where the ability to raise a notification is still critical. The Avaya Safe School solution addresses this requirement via soft emergency buttons. This functionality supports the same notification and reporting capability as the hard buttons. Additionally, multiple levels of security can be leveraged to ensure the integrity of the entire system and these range from simple IP office access lists, access lists with PIN, network device authentication, user role bound to devices, and even the context of multi-role use based on time of day. While today the context of location is not electronically integrated via wired or Wi-Fi for the IP office smartphone, it is an element that can be determined and shared between 1x Mobile for IP office. Management of an event, either in real time or from the perspective of procedural audit, is a critical element of any solution. The fact the emergency buttons are SIP endpoints ensures consistent and consolidated central monitoring for all types of telephony transactions. The IP Office Soft Console can display real-time information about individual activations. Additionally, in the case of multiple activations, the severity of a situation can be determined based on the number of activations. Historical information can also be determined via the log of the state changes or calls from each emergency button within the console. One important item to note today, we do not currently support the capability to automatically acknowledge alarms. In fact, while we could implement such capability electronically, it would not be aligned with best practices. Schools are environments where teachers and staff regularly interact with first responders through both drills and structured engagements such as response audits. Their approaches and engagement strategy have to address the least common denominator, as lives can be at stake. As such, procedures are developed to address situations where limited communication exists, such as during power outages or natural disasters. In these cases, an explicit handoff between humans in the decision chain are mandated. In the same way that one cannot unpull a fire alarm, two-way communication and acknowledgement between those responsible within the school and or external first responders is the expected, often mandated, norm. During an emergency, communication is essential for personnel to effectively analyze and manage the incident. The core of the solution set permits authorized authenticated devices, such as office phones or those securely elevated via authorization, to act as or participate as emergency event managers, where they can manage the event state and alarm conditions. The system can address customized, pre-recorded alarms and notification messages, in addition to ad hoc announcements to any variety of zones, leveraging both audible and visual indicators. 
In addition, the solution provides an emergency announcement capability, so authorized personnel can preempt any announcements or other streaming media, allowing them to broadcast a priority announcement to staff and students. Responders can immediately issue instructions and updates to everyone or to targeted zones within the school. Depending on the event, engagement of and or notification of essential resources may be mandated. When a 911 call is placed for an emergency, seconds count. On-site notification provides critical information to office staff who may initiate the appropriate level of response. Detailed information, including the precise location of the calling device, is displayed to key individuals through a screen pop application on their desktop or mobile device. Additional critical information is immediately displayed for on-site administrators to assist in the coordination of emergency response. This could include floor plans and lists of potentially hazardous materials and the correlation of IP-based video feeds that allow users to assess the situation further. Lastly, stakeholder and community notification in the form of the Avaya notification solution may be appropriate. While not directly integrated for emergency management communications, ANS can be leveraged beyond day-to-day -day operations to keep anyone informed of current status, expected changes, and or resolution. As previously stated, the effective management of any situation is determined by the information that resources can access and share during the event. Generally speaking, the better and more timely the information, the more accurate and effective the response. Over-the-top communications can leverage school infrastructure, which may be active when other services are down. In these cases, communication between devices, such as a main office IP 1X portal and a teacher's 1X mobile can support communication even in instances where there is limited wireless coverage. This IM unicast and broadcast capability can permit staff to communicate silently for acknowledgement of events or actions and share current information or status updates. In any environment, the implementation and ongoing management of the integrated solution can be challenging. This is especially so when legacy elements such as speakers need to be integrated and managed. In the Avaya Safe School solution, we leverage the core network infrastructure based on Avaya networking PoE-capable switches in various deployment models. PoE devices such as pagers, intercoms, speakers, emergency buttons are connected to the Ethernet switch. In small deployments, this is largely expected to be one of the ERS switches. The device is detected and assigned to the correct VLAN instance for that device type. The IP Office DHCP server then assigns an IP address to the endpoint and identifies the IP Office provisioning server. The endpoint then contacts the provisioning server and downloads the appropriate configuration data. This simple approach permits error-free deployments and assists in supporting a pre-configuration template to be replicated for individual devices, zones, or a smaller school. While there is a great degree of flexibility to address a broad set of requirements, the solution set is also able to eloquently address a larger and more complex deployment. For those instances, other Avaya elements are recommended in the form of our wireless endpoints. And while we'll not cover the many permutations in this session, the Avaya Identity Engine is an element that should be positioned as integral to the solution's ability to address larger deployments such as those with significant BYOD and wireless land footprints. The PoE devices are still connected to the Avaya Ethernet switch. While these are still expected to be ERS class switches, larger deployments may introduce VSP capability within the core. The switch will contact the Identity Engine IDE instance to authenticate the device. IDE will authenticate the device using simple policy based on MAC address range and dictate the policy application for the ERS, including VLAN assignment. The DHCP server, probably not an IP office instance in this type of deployment, assigns an IP address to the endpoint and identifies the provisioning server. The endpoint then contacts the provisioning server and downloads the appropriate configuration data. As is the case with the smaller construct, this approach permits error-free deployments and assistance in supporting a pre-configuration template to be replicated for individual devices up to and including board-wide implementations. Additionally, it promotes a secure plug-and-play infrastructure while able to leverage IDE for wired or wireless client access and control policies. Solution set, there are a number of management products that can be implemented for a larger solution set. In many instances, third-party management can be problematic. 
Algo Communications endpoints are DevConnect certified and provide a consistent level of management and monitoring via IP Office directly. This includes the drop-down selection of elements, details regarding the specific extensions, access via diagnostic tools, and the ability to assess current states for active sessions. As new capabilities are introduced, we'll continue to add those capabilities to the solution as Algo makes them available. In conclusion, the current release of IP Office is providing the base core functionality of the Avaya Safe School solution. Going forward, it will provide a framework and roadmap to futures that will include enhancements to Wi-Fi, Identity Engine, and BYOD. Enhancements made possible with Next Generation 911 will be made available through updates of the Conveyance Sentry application. The solution will grow in both functionality and scalability with upcoming Aura certification scaling as well as tighter integration with ANS supporting large-scale mass notification. The broad acceptance of shortest path bridging-based Ethernet fabric architectures are allowing the natural expansion of video surveillance across larger networks. This is going to allow this mode of communication to be part of normal normal day-to-day -day communications for the first time ever. Avaya is ready to meet that challenge with industry-leading network and communication solutions. Avaya Safe School Solution delivers the technology to protect our children and gives schools the ability to most effectively respond in emergencies. This innovative technology in conjunction with our DevConnect partners provides the tool to manage communications in personal safety, allowing teachers and children to focus on learning. That's the power of we.